Renaissance Synergy How-To Video Using the Threadex Real-Time Operating System with IAR Embedded Workbench for Renaissance Synergy In this video presentation, we will demonstrate how to create, download and run an application using Threadex, the full-featured real-time operating system from ExpressLogic. This way you can experience firsthand how easy and straightforward this process is when using IAR Embedded Workbench for Renaissance Synergy. The application we are going to create will toggle the green LED1 on the Promotion Kit once we press the push button SW4 on the board. For that, we will utilize a thread, which will handle the toggling of the LED and a semaphore to notify the thread that the event occurred. And if you want to follow along the different steps of this demonstration on your own machine while watching this video, you will need working installations of the IAR Embedded Workbench for Renesas Synergy, the Renesas Synergy Standalone Configurator, and the Synergy Software Package on your Windows Workstation. If you haven't installed them already, you might first want to review the video titled Installing IAR Embedded Workbench for Renaissance Synergy for installation instructions. To begin, let's start IAR Embedded Workbench for Renaissance Synergy. Writing a new program always requires you to create a project first. For this, go to Renaissance Synergy New Synergy Project. The Save Workspace As dialog will show. We will give the workspace an easy name, for example, My Artos Workspace. Click on OK. A window asking for the Synergy settings will come up. If you had entered the information already at an earlier time, you are all set and can continue. Otherwise, you will need to enter the locations first. In the first line, browse to the location where you installed the Synergy Standalone Configurator. In the second line, you will need to enter the location of the license file for the Synergy software package. If you install the SSP into the default location, the file browser will take you straight to the right folder. Select the only license there and click on Open. The details and rights for your license are now listed. Click on OK to close this window. The next dialog asks you for the name of our project. Let's name it My Artos Project and click on Save. The project creation wizard of the Synergy Standalone Configurator will now start. Under SSP version, select the latest revision, in our case this is version 1.5.3, but this depends on which version you installed. Under board, select the S5D9PK entry, as this is the board we will use for this tutorial. Note that the device will change automatically to the one on the board. Clicking on Next will show the project template selection screen. We just need the baseboard support package, so select this one. This was also the last action we needed to define a new project. Click on Finish, and the project generator will create the necessary files based on the settings we made. In the Synergy Standalone Configurator, go directly to the Threads tab, as we want to add a thread to our application. There is already the HAL Common thread containing the drivers for the Event Link Controller, the I.O. ports, the Clock Generation Controller, and the factory MCU information table. These drivers are necessary for the S5D9 Group Microcontroller and the S5D9 Promotion Kit to work correctly. We need a new thread for the LED, so click on the New Thread icon for that. But let's think about the term thread for a moment first. If you are more accustomed to the term task, just think of a thread being a kind of task. Some even use both terms alternatively. When using an RTOS, the application running on the microcontroller will be broken down into several smaller, semi-independent chunks of code, with each one typically controlling a single aspect of it, and these small pieces are called threads. Multiple threads can exist within one application, but only one can be active at any time, as Synergy microcontrollers are single core devices. Each one has its own stack space, an assigned priority in respect to the other threads in the application, and can be in different states, like ready, completed, or sleep. Inter-thread signaling, synchronization, or communication is performed by the means of semaphores, queues, mutexes, or event flags. Now let's change the properties of the new thread. Rename the symbol to LED underscore thread, and the name to LED thread. Leave everything else at the defaults. Next, we will add a new stack to the LED thread. Click on the new stack icon and select Driver Input external IRQ driver on R underscore ICU. This will add the driver for the external interrupt, which will happen once SW4 is pressed. 
All necessary settings can be made in the properties view of this stack. Change the channel from 0 to 11 as SW4 is connected to IRQ11. Change the name to G underscore external underscore IRQ11. The final changes in the properties view are to modify the trigger from rising to falling as we want to catch the pressing of the button. The digital filtering from disabled to enabled and the digital filtering sample clock from P clock divided by 64 to P clock divided by 32. This helps to prevent false interrupts by debouncing the button. And finally, enter a callback function named external underscore IRQ11 underscore callback. This step creates a function which is called once SW4 is pressed and the related interrupt occurs. We will add the code executed by this callback function later on. There are a couple of additional steps to perform before you can compile and download your program. The next one is to add a semaphore for the notification of the thread. A semaphore is a resource of the RTOS which can be used for signaling events and for thread synchronization. Using the semaphore allows the application to suspend a thread until the event occurs and the semaphore is posted. Without an RTOS, it would be necessary to continually poll a flag variable or to create code to perform a certain action inside an interrupt service routine, blocking other interrupts for quite some time. Using semaphores allows us to exit ISRs quickly and defer the code to the thread. ThreadX provides 32-bit counting semaphores and each semaphore has two basic operations, get and set. Get decreases the count of the semaphore by one, set increases it by one. To add a semaphore, click on the new object icon and select semaphore. In the properties view, change the name to SW4 semaphore and the symbol to G underscore SW4 underscore semaphore. Leave the count at zero. That's all. There are no other settings to make. So save the configuration and click on Generate Project Content to initiate the generation of the necessary files, folders, and settings. Once the code generation is complete, close the Synergy standalone configurator by using the Windows control and you will return to the IAR embedded workbench for RenSS Synergy, where we can add some additional lines of code to the application. If needed, you can go back anytime to the SSC by clicking on the Synergy configuration icon in the toolbar. We will start with the code handling the push button and the toggling of the LED, and we will add it to the LED underscore thread underscore entry dot C file. First, we need to add a structure named LEDs for the LEDs on the S5D9 promotion kit and initialize it using the R underscore BSP underscore LEDs get function of the board support package. We will also need a variable of the type IOPort underscore level underscore T holding the level of the LED. Name it LED underscore level and initialize it to IOPort underscore level underscore high. By the way, if you don't want to type all the code yourself, you can download an example project from our website. Next, we will open and configure the external IRQ pin connected to SW4 on the board. For this, we will use the instance of the external IRQ driver we created in the Synergy configurator, G underscore external underscore IRQ11. Its API structure contains the open function, which accepts the pointers to the instance control and configuration structures as parameter. Remember the autocomplete function. It helps out a lot to get the syntax right without having to look it up in the manuals. Simply press control space while typing. The next pieces of code you will need to add are the lines handling the toggling of the LED. We did a little fast forwarding here and added the code already. The first line writes the current level to the pin through the pin write function of the IO port driver, while the next ones toggle the level. And finally, a call to the TX underscore semaphore underscore get function together with TX underscore wait underscore forever as parameter, which instructs the thread to suspend on the semaphore until its count becomes non zero. That means until it is posted from the callback function inside the interrupt service routine of IRQ11. And here is the code we added at the end. It's the callback function, and inside it, just one line is necessary. Setting the semaphore once the push button is pressed through the TX underscore semaphore underscore put function of ThreadX. The other line inside the callback function is not essential, but convenient. It avoids a warning from the compiler that the parameter P underscore args is not used by our program. 
and that is all the code we needed to write for our application. We are now ready to build and run the project. To build the project, click on the Make icon. If it does not compile without errors, you will need to go back to your code and fix the errors with the help of the feedback of the compiler. We did a little bit of fast forwarding again. To start our debug session, click on the Download and Debug icon on the toolbar or select Project, Download and Debug from the menu. The IAR Embedded Workbench for Renaissance Synergy will download your code and switch to the debugger. The debugger might ask you about the location of some missing source files. As they are encrypted, just select Skip and let IAR Embedded Workbench for Renaissance Synergy do that for all those files. The program will run to main and stop there. Click on Go and your program will run. Your program is now running and each time you press SW4 on the promotion kit, LED1 will toggle. Congratulations! You successfully created a Renesas Synergy platform application using the ThreadX real-time operating system. In this video tutorial, we demonstrated that adding and using threads and semaphores in the ThreadX RTOS is very easy due to the Synergy software package and the Synergy standalone configurator. They really take care of most non-user related things so you can fully concentrate on your application. Only a few steps are necessary and you're all set. Thank you for watching and we suggest that you have a look at the other videos in this series as well.